In 2004, a full-blown fight broke out during a Detroit Pistons and Indiana Pacers game. Players from both teams and fans exchanged blows on the court and in the stands. This incident, which became known as the Malice at the Palace, is one of the most infamous moments in NBA history. This is a situation that totally broke down. There was chaos everywhere. The conflict lasted for over 10 minutes and its entirety was broadcasted on national television. After the fight, five players and five fans were charged with assault and battery. The reputation of the NBA was in tatters. That's when then-commissioner David Stern decided that the league needed an image reboot. After the brawl, several things changed. The NBA moved to increase security between fans and players, and they also limited the sale of alcohol in the stands. For the 2005-2006 season, David Stern introduced a business casual dress code for all team-related events. The code covered games, press events, and the pre-game walk into the arena. This rule was intended to make sure that the team looked professional at all times, but its unintended consequences have changed the public role of athletes today. At the time, the newly instated dress code was controversial. Many of the clothing items that it specifically banned were items associated with hip-hop culture. According to an ESPN article published in 2005, some of these specific items were jeans, hats, headgear, and large jewelry. Players like Allen Iverson, Jason Richardson, and Marcus Camby publicly spoke out against the policy, criticizing it for limiting expression and being racially coded. Despite the initial backlash, the rule was eventually embraced. Athletes started wearing suits at team-related events. Prior to this, suits were reserved for draft days, and the styles were less than aspirational. Since 2005, athlete fashion has evolved and given us some truly memorable style moments, like LeBron James's Tom Brown short suit, Serge Ibaka's giant scarf, and Russell Westbrook's red glasses. Today, the walk into the game is an opportunity for athletes to showcase personal style. GQ has even compared it to a runway. Some of the league's most fashionable players, like Dwayne Wade, have credited Stern's rule with motivating the players to up their style game. In a 2014 interview with GQ, Wade commented on the dress code, saying, It was like, okay, now we've got to really dress up and we can't just throw on a sweatsuit. It became a competition amongst guys. You started to really understand the clothes you put on your body, the materials you're starting to wear. So then you became even more of a fan of it. Social media has amplified this, and dedicated Instagram accounts like League Fits now chronicle outfits NBA players wear walking in, on the bench, and at public events. The clothes players wear sell out, and sponsors have taken notice. Player endorsements used to consist primarily of athletic brands. Now, players have deals with top fashion brands, and Tom Brown outfitted the entire Cleveland Cavaliers with custom suits. Of course, Basketball isn't the only sport where athletes are making sartorial statements. In 2019, Sports Illustrated published a list of the 50 most stylish athletes. Honors were given to NBA All-Stars, trendy tennis players, and fashionable footballers alike. For more videos like this one, click subscribe now, and don't forget to click that bell.